My name is Danil and I'm in 2A Mechanical Engineering and I'm going to talk to you guys today about uh, student design teams and my experiences with them over the past year or so. Uh, so let's get started. So what is a design team? A design team by definition is a student-run team at the University of Waterloo at, that represents the university at various competitions and each team participates in different competitions ranging from building rockets, concrete canoes, hybrid vehicles, self-driving vehicles, and many more. Joining a team is usually pretty easy as most teams work on a drop-in basis. What this means is that you don't need to have any previous experience to join, and there's usually only some safety training that needs to be done before you can start working on a project. There are some teams that require you to sign up and go for an interview before you can join. However, this only applies to very few teams at UW. Each design team will have what's called various sub-teams. And usually you join the one that interests you the most. It doesn't have to be the one that's the most related to your program. Um, but in most design teams, you aren't restricted to just one. If you no longer like the sub-team you joined originally, then you can switch sub-teams pretty easily, which is pretty great. Yeah. I'm going to talk about some of my own experiences now. I joined UOCT when I was in my first term of university, and I joined because I was originally interested in them when I attended March Break Open House a few years ago. Um, UOFT, which stands for the University of Waterloo's Alternative Fuels Team, focuses on converting regular production vehicles that you see on the road every day into hybrid vehicles by incorporating electric vehicle technologies, making these vehicles run cleaner and depend less on gasoline. I was already pretty into cars before I started university and I figured this team would be pretty cool, especially with the way that the automotive industry is shifting more towards electric vehicles. And fast forward a year and a half, and I'm the team lead of the mechanical sub-team at UOF. One thing I'd say about design teams is that you get out what you put into it. I was fortunate enough to be in Waterloo my past two co-op terms, which allowed me to be very involved with the team. And as I spent more time with the team, I got greater responsibilities, which put me into the leadership position that I'm in today. <clears throat> What's really great about design teams is that you get real hands-on experience and get to work with some really cool technologies. Seen here on this slide are some of my teammates working on uh, swapping the engine of our vehicle. And on the right, you can see uh, we're testing out some radars that were sent, out, sent to us by Bosch. In addition, you get to work with industry level software, which really makes you stand out from your classmates. And this helps when you're looking for a co-op as employers really value students that have already learned the skills or software from design teams as they have to spend less time training you, leaving you more time to be productive at work. <clears throat> Another one of the most valuable aspects of joining the design team are all the connections you can develop. In UOF's case, we're sponsored by many big name companies such as General Motors, MathWorks, and Multimatic. These connections really come in handy when you're looking for a co-op, and they help the team out in many ways. Our vehicle itself was donated to us by General Motors so we can work on it. And um, the leftmost picture on this slide shows our vehicle at Multimatic's facility in Markham conducting a four-post test. This, hel this test helps us to characterize our suspension. Um, and it's usually a very expensive test, costing anywhere between ten dollars to $20,000. But Multimatic was willing to do it for us free of charge, which is really cool. <clears throat> Moving on. And the work you've done on a project doesn't really feel complete until you know, you've seen it in action. So as you can see here, our vehicle is going ham at Waterloo's regional test track after recently completing the engine swap. And that's a feeling that's so satisfying. Seeing all your hard work come to life is definitely one of the coolest parts of joining a design team because every bit of work you do is important and is critical to the team's success. You start off small, but as you get more involved, you'll be assigned more complex and harder tasks but the outcome is always super satisfying. Another great benefit is that it gives you something to do outside of school. Yes, school is very important, but I find that design teams are a very enjoyable and productive way to spend time after school because it's time spent making connections, developing your technical and uh, interpersonal skills, and making new friends. Moving on to the last slide here. One of the last things I'd like to talk about are the travel opportunities that come with joining a design team. As with UOFT, we go to two workshops and one competition every year. And last fall, I was fortunate enough to go to fall workshop at the MathWorks headquarters in Natick, Massachusetts. This was by far one of the coolest experiences I've ever had because we all got to travel as a team together, fully sponsored, so I didn't have to pay a cent. And we got trained on how to use various softwares, how to use an interface with certain hardware, and how to do things the right way when it comes to building a vehicle. 
Plus, all these sessions were hosted by real engineers from big companies such as Bosch, General Motors, and Siemens. It was a really cool experience to travel with the team and develop new connections with all the sponsors that were there. It really gave me a scope on how big all of this is and how much these companies value students who are actively involved in the design team. To conclude, I believe design teams are a great way to be involved with your university as they give you all sorts of amazing opportunities to develop your skills, gain new connections, and get real hands-on experience with technology that is being used in today's fast-paced industry. If you're interested, then definitely stop by the, student, the CEDRA Student Design Center when you have a chance to learn more about the various design teams at UW. Thank you.